Hi you folks, it's your favourite natural networks duo Yaz and Becca and we're here with another instalment of Get to Know Your Grasses. We're in our gorgeous wildflower meadow at Worcestershire Wildlife Trust headquarters and today we're talking about a species of grass which is an indicator of species rich or unimproved meadows. It's also the food plant for uh, caterpillars of several species of butterfly in the brown and skipper families. Um, and that grass is crested dog's tail. So whilst it's in flower, crested dog's tail is a pretty distinctive grass. It's got this uh, upright kind of oblong or rectangular flower spike with densely packed clusters of spikelets which are arranged on one side of the flower spike so if you kind of rotate it you can see that there's this pretty obvious spine at the back of the flower spike uh, with all of the spikelets arranged on the other side and Becca's going to take us through some of the features uh, when it isn't in flower. Okay so the leaves of crested dog's tail are narrow fine and pointed and the upper leaves protrude from the main stem at a 45 degree angle and the lower leaves are more of a 90 degree angle. Um, the underside of the leaves are more glossy than the top and you can check the contrast by wrapping it around your finger to see the difference between the two. So that's Crested Dog's Tail. Um, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye!